Hello Art Fabbers, Prynhawn da or Bore da, good afternoon or good morning, depending when you're watching. Go beth ya bwch chi'n hapus ac yn iach? Ydych chi'n hapus ac yn iach? Heddiw, today we're going to look at um, puppets and we're going to look at how we can make our own puppets to play with and for our friends to play with as well and have chats. Because did you know that puppets love to talk and chat? And I've got one here. This is Panda. Hello, Panda. Hello. Hello, Pop. Panda likes to whisper. Eva, did you? <gasps> really? <gasps> Panda likes to wave. Hello. Say hello. Hello, up Babbers. Panda sometimes is ticklish. Ooh, ooh. Tickle, 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 tickle. And she likes playing Pippo. Pippo. But Panda likes to have friends. And at the moment, she doesn't have one because this other hand is empty. So we're going to make a puppet so that Panda here can have a natter with. Now, puppets could be serious. They might be funny and jokey. She finds that very funny. <laughs> or they might be oh, very shy, very shy. hiding. Very shy indeed. But they do like to have chats with each other. So we're going to make a friend for Panda. So one way I've got to show you, and we've got lots of different ways that you can do this, if you've got an old glove lying around the house, who's maybe lost the other glove, you can make little puppets for each fingers. And we'll show this glove later on. If you've got, I bet you've got a few of these. We've got lots around the house here. Old socks, odd socks. You can make a little puppet out of those. So that might be its, its mouth. Cheeky thing. Cheeky puppet. And you can even make a puppet out of an old paper bag. It can be as simple as adding a face and turning it into a little person. So this one is going to be a very smiley puppet with a big red nose and pink cheeks. Can you be as simple as that. You could even do oh, a different puppet on the back. But first of all, I'm going to show you a, a way to make a puppet like Panda here out of some material. So what you need first is some scraps of material that are big enough to cover your hand. Yeah, and I've done a template here. So big enough to cover your hand about that size and you'll need to have two sides for that so that you can make one to cover each side of your hand. So you'll need some fabric. Um, so here's some that I cut out earlier. And you'll need some colouring pencils or crayons. Uh, if you've got any googly eyes or sequins, you can use those. And we're just going to colour onto these and then we can sew them together. If you've got any buttons, oh, do you have a lot of odd buttons at home as well? And the buttons, the extra buttons that sometimes comes with, shirt, comes with shirts or cardigans and things, you can use those and you can use those buttons as little eyes or as buttons down the top of your puppet. 
So we'll keep hold of those. These are some nice colourful ones. But even if you haven't got any of those, you can always use whatever you can find around the house. Oh, milk bottle tops work well as well. Little foam, uh, little um, foil buttons, anything you've got, have a look around. So I'm going to move the camera so that you can see what I'm doing now. And I'm going to colour this one in and we'll make it into a little puppet. Right, well, I hope you've been thinking about puppets. We've been busy here, and here are a couple. We've got the paper bag puppet we made earlier on. Ooh. But we've also now turned that glove that you saw before into... <gasps> All of these different guys. Hello. This one's not very happy. This one looks pretty happy with himself. This one's winking. This one's laughing about something. And this one looks smiley too. So you've got lots of different puppets. You could give them clothes as well if you wanted. Make them have different characters so they can all talk to each other. Oh, let's get this off my hand. We've made... My hand's a little bit big for this. So the template I'll put up for you, I'll make it a bit bigger. We've made our own little Art Baba's glove puppet. We talk to Panda now. Panda's got a friend. Tamani, hello, hello Panda, hello. And we finally, do you remember the old odd sock we had? Well, that's now become a lovely, whoa, very ritzy snake dog. Dogfish? Could be anything. It's got a forked tongue, a green forked, uh, forked tongue. We've stuck a felt mouth on the inside here. Oh, it's tickling him. Ooh. Two buttons for eyes. And we've got two pipe, uh, pipe cleaner here that's threaded through to hold this lovely mane. You could give it ears if you wanted. You can do lots of things. But there's a few different ideas for you there. And before we go, I'm going to teach you a little song about our fingers in Welsh. You have to excuse my fingers, I've been painting. I do wash my hands a lot, but I've been painting um, while we've been in here. So my fingers are a bit multicoloured at the moment. So the song is going to count up to ten. Bees, bees is finger, bees is finger in Welsh. And we're going to count up to ten and our fingers are going to be dancing. So we've got in bis, die bis, tree bis and dance your pedwar bis, pimp bis, chwech bis and dance your scythe bis, oith bis, now bis and dance your dig bis and dance yon yon. Our dancing fingers. Should we try it again with the glove with our little puppets? In bis, die bis, tree bis, and dance your pedwar bis, pimp bis, chwech bis, and dance your scythe bis, oith bis, now bis, and dance your dig bis, and dance yon yon. There we go. Ta ta, brothers. See you next time. Hoil vaur am a tro. Cadwch yn diogel. Hoil vaur pau. Bye bye, pavuan.
If you've made lots of puppets, why don't you have a go at making one of these, a puppet theatre? This was one we made out of an old cardboard box. It was a little flat crate and we've cut a hole out of the middle and opened one of the sides so that it goes down here and it can hide the bottom of the table. And inside, as you can see, we've put some curtains. We've put some curtains here so that you can close those and you can stand behind a table um, uh, or have it up on a shelf and you can do your puppet theatre behind it. Ta -da! Have a go, see how creative you can be. Bye bye, Bubbers.